Just a reminder for anyone who was denied water privilege. 1915.88 B. Potable water. 1915.88 B. 1. The employer shall provide potable water for all employee health and personal needs and ensure that only potable water is used for these purposes. 1915.88 B. 2. The employer shall provide potable drinking water in amounts that are adequate to meet the health and personal needs of each employee. 1915.88 B. 3. The employer shall dispense drinking water from a fountain, a covered container with single-use drinking cups stored in a sanitary receptacle, or single-use bottles. The employer shall prohibit the use of shared drinking cups, dippers, and water bottles. 1915.88 C. Non-potable water. 1915. 88. C. 1. The employer may use non-potable water for other purposes such as firefighting and cleaning outdoor premises so long as it does not contain chemicals, fecal matter, coliform, or other substances at levels that may create a hazard for employees. 1915.88. C. 2. The employer shall clearly mark non-potable water supplies and outlets as not safe for health or personal use hashtag potable water is a right not a privilege hashtag u.s department of labor osha i will literally fight someone if i'm told i can't drink if they provide water but limit your access to it that doesn't count as providing water plenty of places tell you that you can only drink on your break or keep the water so far away that you spend your entire break walking to and from. Construction Safety Guy here. 1915 is the shipyard safety standards for OSHA. Luckily, OSHA also has provisions for general industry. 1910. 1910.141. B. 1. I. Water shall be provided in all places of employment for drinking, washing the person, washing off foods, washing cooking and eating utensils, washing of food preparation or processing premises and personal service rooms. The folks at OSHA have not forgot about construction workers. 1926. Either. 1926.51. A. 1. An adequate supply of potable water shall be provided in all places of employment. Furthermore, Section 5 of the OSH Act states. A. Each employer. 1. Shall furnish each of his employees employment and a place of employment which are free from. Recognized hazards that are causing or are likely to cause death or serious physical harm to his. Employees. The last section is the General Duty Clause, which basically means employers are required to protect employees against any hazards that may not have a particular standard relevant to it. For example, OSHA can cite an employer under the General Duty Clause for providing water, but not allowing employees to stop work and drink water, as such a policy could cause harm to employees. For more information or to report an employer look here. HTTPS. www.osha.gov slash workers hash. Text equals to percent 20 discuss percent 20 a percent 20 health percent 20 in. Information percent 20 will percent 20 b percent 20 kept percent 20 confidential. Be safe peeps. I once had a foreman who would only allow water. No Gatorade, iced tea, whatever. Only water no, pleasure beverages. He was told many times. In many ways that he didn't sign the check so we'll drink WTF we want. Dude had no actual balls so that's how it went down lol. Anything about cold water? 
My job has these things posted on the wall for everyone to see. I can't believe people are being denied water. My work doesn't provide water. And told me day one that drinks are not allowed in the department. I work in a bakery. It gets so hot with all the appliances on. I bring my water bottle from home anyway and keep it away from the appliances. They can suck it lol. At my former workplace, manager told me that I drink a lot of water and take too many bathroom breaks. In a passive aggressive manner, I told him due to kidney problems I had to drink a lot of water. Which was a lie but he felt horrible and wished me well soon. I know people here have much worse managers bosses. Mine was a kind person but still had the audacity to tell me not to drink water. I'll take potent potables for 600 Alex. Not trying to be a jerk or disagree just wanting to point out that OSHA 1915 is only enforceable. If I recall correctly, in shipyard related employments, I believe general construction needs to be found in 1926 and general industry. Everyone else is 1910. I don't think the regulation for 1915 has any enforceable action in construction or other industry. Texas Gov Abbott Just says they have to provide it. Does it say they have to let them drink it? Spirit v. Letter of the Law Anyone in the USA? That's awesome you put this on here we all need to learn more of the legal stuff so we don't keep being treated like dirt. And if you're in the UK, the HSE rules. Quote dot. The law requires that you provide drinking water and ensure that filled square it is free from contamination and is preferably from the public water supply, bottled water. Dispensers are acceptable as a secondary supply. Filled square it is easily accessible by all employees. There are adequate supplies taking into consideration the temperature of the working environment. And types of work activity. Filled square cups or a drinking fountain are provided. Drinking water does not have to be marked unless there is a significant risk of people drinking. Non-drinking water. HTTPS slash slash www.hcgov.uk slash pubbins slash ending 293.pdf How does this work if you work behind a store deli counter and it was deemed a health risk to have? Are personal drinks anywhere in the area? I don't work there now. But we weren't allowed to keep any water in the area and we weren't allowed to leave for longer periods of time because it was consistently busy. That only applies if you're working in a shipyard. It's a little less restrictive in general industry. Not what Texas says. Is this a federal or state law? Working in healthcare as RN by 30 years. I've never had water provided at work, cooler or otherwise until I moved to Florida. JCAHO claims no drinks in patient care areas. It was only in Florida do they have, hydration stations, woman shrugging. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.